I've been struggling to figure out my style for the last two years because, you know, I had a baby. It's a five-part system for editing your closet. It seems very manageable. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Today we're going to do a major closet clear out postpartum body edition. It has been almost two years since I delivered my baby. I had no expectations of bouncing back or having my pre-baby body. However, it has been a very challenging two years. If you follow me on any of my socials or here, you know that I've struggled with postpartum depression and prenatal depression as well. It's taken me almost two years to heal and recover from being pregnant and having a baby during a pandemic for the first time and going over grief of the loss of my mom again. It's been a doozy. This channel originally was called Dress Yourself Happy. I've always dealt with depression, but when I started this YouTube channel, I was going through one of the hardest periods of my life that I had gone through at the time. That is why my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. And over the years that has evolved and changed from playing with beauty products, reviewing beauty products, doing hauls, to really having to find myself again and doing a no buy to figure out how to financially become more responsible, reprioritize my priorities and what I found valuable in my life. And also I started valuing my health and overall well being a lot more. I became a certified nutritionist. My husband became a certified personal trainer. Dress Yourself Happy was always to motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I also started Eat Yourself Happy in the last year to really also motivate and inspire you to feel your best from the inside out. Over the last almost decade here on YouTube, I've really grown a lot. I started this channel in my 20s and now I'm in my late 30s. My life has changed, my priorities have changed, my lifestyle has changed. I am a whole person that's constantly growing and evolving and I need my fashion to grow and evolve with me. If you follow me on any of my socials like Instagram, TikTok, or even YouTube shorts, you know that I've been doing mom fits to essentially dress myself happy again. And I wanted to bring that here, but I was insecure. I still am insecure because I don't think my fashion or my style is that innovative, unique, on trend, or social media worthy. But I also think that that's important to share with you that you don't have to be on trend and stand out like crazy in order to feel good in your clothes or to also still appreciate and enjoy fashion. I'm also someone who likes to repeat outfits after going through a no buy journey as well as a very, very severe closet clean out back in the day that got rid of almost 90% of my entire wardrobe and doing a capsule wardrobe. I don't feel comfortable buying new clothes all the time. I want to love what I already have and figure out new ways to make it work. So I actually discovered Alison Bornstein on TikTok or rediscovered her. I first saw her on Violet FR's channel when she had just had her baby and Alison went over to her house to help her do this five step closet clean out. She calls it the closet editing system and what I like about it is it's much more manageable and seems much quicker than Marie Kondo. When I first did my huge closet clear out, I think five or six years ago, I Marie Kondoed it. So I got rid of 90% of my wardrobe and realized nothing in my closet brought me joy. Nothing in my closet even fit me properly and I was addicted to fast fashion. I bought new clothes because it made me feel better initially very quickly, but then I would have guilt over spending money on something that I knew I wasn't ever gonna wear. I was always buying clothes to dress a version of myself that didn't exist. After doing that whole closet clear out system, which took a couple days and was kind of demoralizing, I didn't wanna do that again. I've been struggling to figure out my style for the last two years because, you know, I had a baby, there was a pandemic, I went through postpartum depression, my body's different. We also just moved and this closet's a little funky. I share it with my husband. I have to see what I actually need to organize it properly where I'm going to reach for my clothes and get the most out of it. Let's get started. Step one is the regulars. These are the pieces that I always reach for and I'm constantly wearing. I typically keep all of my regular shoes in the garage, so I brought them up so that I could see it. 
it's not a lot of clothes, but I feel like if everything were to go away and I had these, I would be really happy and confident. I'm gonna actually go grab the one purse I use the most of right now, which is my Prada sling bag that I got at the outlets of all places, because most of the time I actually just run out with my phone, which is a wallet slash phone case on one of these wrist straps. When it comes to purses, I actually just use my sling bag or this. 90% of the time. If I'm going somewhere fancy, I'll pull out my Chanel backpack or my Chanel double flap that I got years ago. Step two, the nevers. These are all of the items that I never wear, whether I love it or hate it, or it doesn't fit, I just never wear it. I was gifted this from Garnier and this is absolutely so stunning and luxurious, but I literally never wear it. And I haven't had the heart to donate it yet. I haven't worn this Balmain jacket that I got in 2017. I think I've worn it twice. That would be called one of those moments when I was chasing a lifestyle that I thought would make me happy because I had just lost my mom and started seeing a little bit more money as an influencer, but spent it so stupidly. Yeah. I have all of my nevers. This is whether I love it, hate it, things that I really just haven't worn in a long time, as well as a bunch of shoes down here. I didn't pull out all of my heels because I feel like I shouldn't get rid of my heels. Maybe I should, huh? I'm gonna go grab a la ladder and go grab all my shoes. <laughs> it's getting hot. I had to turn the air on. Sweating up a storm. Step three. Categorize the nevers into three groups. No, it doesn't fit. Damage, don't like it. Not now. Not gonna wear it right now, but I'm not ready to give it away. And how. Things that I love that fit, but I don't know how to style it. So those three categories for everything here. Out of the three steps so far, this is the one that's going to take the longest because there's a lot more thought involved. This duster, I just feel like is very out of style now. So I think I'm gonna donate that. This Madewell blazer I hope fits because I loved it. I like how tight it is right here. I just don't think it fits my current size. So that is something that I have a really hard time with is there are pieces I absolutely love and it doesn't fit me right now. And part of me is like, well, maybe it will fit me in a little bit. Maybe it'll fit me a year from now. I have to stop saving clothes in the hopes that it's gonna fit me eventually. If it's demoralizing, I need to just get rid of it and let go of this. I got my use out of this. Comment below if I'm not alone. Please let me not be alone. No, right? I know, mentally, I know that my body has changed. I may or may never go back to my pre-pregnancy size. I don't anticipate ever having the same body as before pregnancy, even if I lost all the weight. But like, why can't I let this blazer go? I got my cost per wear from it because it was very well thought out purchase. It took me forever to find this blazer and now it doesn't fit and I've been saving onto it, but I haven't worn it in like three years because pandemic, pregnancy doesn't fit. I gotta just let go. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna be horrified if it doesn't fit. And if this one doesn't fit, I will consider keeping it still because I'm hoping I can get it taken it out. This does not fit me. So horrifying because of how much I spent on it. I don't know, I have to think about this. I've worn a bunch, but I just don't think it's me anymore. This still has its tags on it, but I just don't feel comfortable in it. I just don't love that it's white and it hugs everything. I bought this and have never worn it beyond the try-on. I mean, I would love to wear it, but I'm not quite sure what I'd wear it with. It is a little bunchy right here because there's a lot of extra fabric here. I had to size up for my waist. I think this is what I don't like about it is that in order for it to fit my waist, it's kind of created a little bit of a crotch situation. This is cute, but I'm not sure how. Same with this. I absolutely love this Club Monaco blouse. I purchased it, but I never wear it because I'm afraid of getting it dirty since it's white. I just don't think I love this. The issue with these is that they're way too long. Am I wearing them backwards? No. What I was thinking when I bought this dress because it barely covers my boobs. And then let's try these pants on. These are from Club Monaco. I got them because I thought they were a great basic. I always feel like in order for the pants to fit me on my waist, 
there's all this extra fabric in the crotch which I don't like this is a how to style piece for sure okay I can't decide if I like these so I'm gonna put in a maybe I just don't know how to style them the Valentino rock studs I completely forgot I had these I never reach for closed toed lace up shoes whenever possible I try to do slip-ons these are adorable but they hurt so I'm gonna definitely let these go these are from rag and bone but I haven't worn them in years so I'm gonna let that go these I used to love from Nisolo but I kind of just feel like I'm gonna wear boots if I'm gonna wear a heel or I'm gonna go into my pumps so I'm gonna let these go and then these I love these so so much but I haven't worn them in a while so I think I'm gonna let these go as well because I'm more of like a cowgirl boot now and then I have a ton of heels over here so these are my first pair of designer heels I got when I lived in New York on a huge huge sale I always keep these for sentimental value don't really know how to style them and honestly I haven't worn heels in a while they are stunning but I just don't see myself wearing such high heels anymore so I think I'm gonna sell these these I actually wish I got the kitten version. I still want the kitten heel one in the Dior slingbacks in nude. I've gotten so much use out of. I love these. I've worn these to death, but I will continue to wear them because they're just really, really comfortable for the height. It's more of a blocky heel. Mom actually bought me this at the Dooney and Bork store, so it's not something I'm going to ever let go of. But I would like to style it more because I definitely feel like this is so classic and very much my style. I forgot about this beautiful, uh, I want to say it's Alina, Alina bag. It's perfect for spring and summer, so cute. So definitely need to pull that up to style. This I'm probably going to let go of. It's gotten, it's seen better days. This is from Nisolo. It's a great leather bag. It's aged pretty well. I think I'm ready to let that go. I have sentimental value to it. Uh, Chris bought this for me in Mexico. I mean, it's cute for the beach. It's just not very practical. So I think I'm gonna let this go. I love it. I just never use it. It's so big, which is what I wanted. But when I load this up, almost too much. It's not comfortable. It's not when I'm chasing Lillian. But I kind of like it as a tote. I'm trying to decide if I should keep this or not. Step four the revival this is where we take things that we don't normally wear and mixing it with our regulars take pictures and save it in the phone for outfit inspos later i am coming up with some outfits for these pants i purchased it with that top but i love how it looks with that junian borg this top keep that purse my boots or together it open maybe not the gray definitely could pair it with the brown or the navy oh that bag these shoes even do this crop do that pink which is fun maybe pair it with some sneakers to make it sportier i think that's a really good start for just one pair of pants that i didn't know how to style so i'm trying to style another bottom which are these shorts I feel like this bag is just so versatile. I'm a little shocked with step four where I just came up with a ton of outfits using items that I just didn't know how to style and never wore with all of my basics and what was left in my closet. Like that was a lot of outfits with those few pieces. And it just goes to show that you just have to categorize things in a way that makes it easier for you to put things together. I am really impressed with the steps one through four right now, and now we're moving on to step five. We're going to categorize the entire closet in a way that makes sense for me. I like to go by items, so all tank tops in one area, all t-shirts in one area, all pants, shorts, dresses, and then I like to categorize it by color. And I love that I took photos of all those outfit ideas. I'm gonna add it into an album on my phone, and anytime I get stuck or anytime I come across one of my never pieces. I will reach for it. I'll know how to style it. I have been working on rearranging my closet and making it more 
organized in the sense of getting dressed. The handbags, I'm gonna be rotating the most down here so that I can see them all, and then I'm gonna put away all of my more um, sentimental designer pieces from my mom. I'm gonna put them up higher so I don't have to worry about it. I actually might move it to the hall closet. And then this is all of like my socks and my bathing suits. I have to come up with a better system here. And since I cleared out this section, I now have all of my long pants here to look at. I organize it from color and fabric. Something I'm not crazy about this closet is because of the doors, I can't access my entire closet easily. I have my shorts here and again by color and fabric and then I move into my tops and this makes things a lot easier because I feel like I have the most with tops to work with and especially some of the tops that I didn't know how to style and now I have some ideas it's right in front so the basic tops that I tend to wear the most of I do wish my closet just opened up completely so I could see everything at once this is hopefully going to work in sense like these are some of the tops that I had the hardest time styling and since they're in front of me I might reach for them more now I know I have an album of photos on how to style like here is all of my dresses which is very annoying to me because this wall is right here. It's almost impossible for me to see back there. I might get one of those motion sensor lights so that I can just pop it on and at least I can get back there into the corner and see. I am going to move all of my go-to shoes to either the garage or right here. But I'm also going to leave out some of the sandals that I forgot about. So it's more visually in front of me that I will reach for them and grab for them a little bit more. So this way, not only am I going to have access to more of my clothes, but also my shoes and my handbags. And I'm gonna rotate them out every season, I think. I really like Allison's theory and methodology when it comes to cleaning out your closet. It's very well thought out. It's very manageable. It's very time-saving in the sense that not only was I able to do this in the span of about three, four hours, I was also able to take the time to put together some really amazing outfits with pieces that I just didn't know how to style. Now I feel like I have a whole new wardrobe Wardrobe. I didn't have to spend any money. I took photos of all of the new outfits I created. I'm saving that in my phone, which is going to be invaluable. In fact, when I was putting my clothes back, I actually paused a couple times and redid a couple outfits and actually added to my little album of new outfits because as I was putting things back, I realized that I could style a skirt a certain way. And before I forgot about it, I put it on the ground, took a quick snapshot and saved it to that album. While this might take a chunk of your day, it is doable in less than half of your day, depending how quickly and how much stuff you have. And it is absolutely time-saving for the future. And more importantly, monetarily, it is going to reinvigorate your style, reinvigorate your closet, make you feel like you just bought an entire new wardrobe. I don't know, that's how I feel. I bet you, you are going to find so much inspiration if you do these five steps. I found way more new outfits than I ever thought I went into this knowing I was going to probably have more than I needed, but also anticipating maybe having to buy a couple new pieces. I actually feel the opposite. I feel like I have more than enough to get me through the next two seasons. I know for a fact that I do not need to shop anymore. This has definitely put me in a saving mindset and a creative mindset and an appreciation for what I have. So if you feel like you've been wanting to shop for a new wardrobe or needing a wardrobe refresh, I highly encourage you guys to do this. It turned out better than I ever expected. I will have a blog post so you guys can see all of the outfits I put together. And if there are pieces that are still available I will link them for you but I encourage you not to shop I encourage you to shop your wardrobe the blog post will have some other details and will also break down everything for you guys and I encourage you to please show Allison some love since this was completely created by Allison I was inspired to do it because of her but thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe for new videos weekly I do relaxing ASMR facial treatments professional facial treatments, and lifestyle videos such as this. Hope to see you on all of my other socials or I'll see you back here in my next video.